Alright, we are back on our Diablo playthrough. Getting ready to go down to floor 7. So we are almost halfway through the Whoa, game. What can I do for you? There are a total of 16 floors. Diablo's on the 16th floor. So after this floor we will be about basically halfway through. Ooh. There's one thing I was going to check with the Imperium Band. Uh, I thought this was supposed to give me two to attributes, but it's not actually. It's because I have points to assign. See, I don't know if the small stat gain and the fast hit recovery, I guess I don't really get stunned. So I'm just going to stick with the uh, chance to hit for the time being. <laughs> I'm not assigning my skill points yet is I, I don't know um, what I should level up probably strength but I'm gonna wait and see maybe I'll find some gear and then I'll have some points to equip it I can't get over how good the death animations are in this game. It's one of those things you don't ever really think about when you did, and... Well, I forgot those acid spots hurt you on the ground. But yeah, there's so much about game design and how good a game is that you don't really notice it as a kid when you're playing games, but growing up as the quality of games started to go down, I did notice it became harder and harder to find a game that playing it actually felt satisfying, and I would usually just get bored and lose interest. And the way the uh, ranged uh, enemies try and kite you in this, like yeah, it's a pretty basic AI or you know script, but it it actually makes them seem more intelligent. I can see what you see not, vision milky then eyes rot. When you turn, they will be gone, whispering their hidden song. Then you see what cannot be. Shadows move where light should be. Out of darkness, out of mind. Cast down into the halls of the blind. Oh, you know what? I meant to talk to the, uh... I'm gonna go back to town before too long. Okay, there's level 8. 
Why did it... It sounded like a ring dropped. I can see what you see not. Vision milky, then eyes rot. <laughs> I can see what you see not. <laughs> that is one of the things about being a warrior in this game versus a rogue or a sorcerer is you do spend a lot of time chasing uh, ranged mobs. Fireballs at me. If I can lure them in here. Come <laughs> on. 
So I think that last one gave me strength for magic. Because it was elemental damage, or what? But I haven't really been taking much damage from attackers until now. Not enough mana. you my friend what ails you my friend hello my friend stay a while and listen
What can I do for you? I can't cast that here. I sense a soul in search of answers. decide if I want to take this with me so that when I run into a bunch of ranged guys I can blow them up. I kind of think it might be worth it. Whoa! What can I do for you?
Suddenly my uh, minus three damage isn't really doing a whole lot. strong on the last floor, this floor I feel pretty weak. This is the Hall of the Blind. That's probably why I thought I heard a raindrop when I got the quest. I killed him all.
Okay, here we go. Chasing them all over the place. Uh, go try. Okay, I'm guessing it fully repaired everything. See their uh, yellow acid blood flickering. It means if you step on it, it will do damage. <laughs> Thought I saw a unique monster, horn demon, back here. But then the two I killed just seemed like normal. Maybe not. Gollum works in this game if it just launches a guy running at people or if that's the elemental spell. So I'm gonna do some town stuff and wrap this video up afterwards, uh, and probably Greetings, walk back to, Welcome to the tavern of the rising level sun. eight. Gonna make sure there's no quests Hello, that my friend. are available. Stay a while and listen. Let's see what this um, amulet does here. I don't have a spell ready. And it might be better. Slightly. I lose one to my 
minimum and max damage. Light radius is not really beneficial, but I don't, I don't know when I'll start seeing very much lightning damage. I guess another minus one damage from enemies. It's not terrible. Well, what can I do for you? my friend. Kind of fellow drinking. I know you got your own ideas, and I know you're not gonna believe this. That weapon you got there, he just ain't no good against those big brutes. Oh, I don't care what Griswold says. They can't make anything like they used to in the old days. I sense a soul in search of answers. Staff too is not really that bad, especially early on, because bonus you get from like having mana when you have a staff that with charges is kind of useless, um, and and then it's going to cost significantly more to recharge. Uh, to recharge the uh, spell charges. Like you saw, recharging this was only 200 gold. That's, you know, nothing. It's like the cost of one normal item that I sell. Talk to the last couple towns people and then go to Florida. Good day. How may I serve you? Just see if there's any quests. you haven't noticed, I don't buy anything from Tristram. I am an importer of quality goods. If you want to peddle junk, you'll have to see Griswold, Pepin, or that witch Adrian. I'm sure they'll snap up whatever you can bring them.
Okay, so it doesn't seem like there's any quests. Gonna head back to floor 8. And that'll be where we stop. Thanks for watching. And remember to give them the D. Expecting there to be enemies there. All right, it's gonna wrap it up.